Yo, yeah, yo, guys. Um, we back again. Preston Melo too. So, on this tutorial, I'm going to show you. I know you won't believe me, but how to save space in FL Studio. Have you wondered why, like, after maybe recording one song, much of your space has been taken? Look, I'm gonna show you how to save space. Things that you can do to save space. Okay. One, you'll download more uh, sounds or you'll have your own sounds and stuff, your own recordings. Remember, there are always recordings which are really important and there's some of the recordings which you, re you really don't need. So, you need to get rid of them. And this is another option. If you're recording some of the people, maybe for quick cash and stuff, just, uh, just after maybe some time, uh, when the project is long been done and stuff, you or you already uh, got paid, and everything is been settled. Now you have to remove the database of uh, that song and stuff, like everything, every recordings and stuff, just to uh, to have more space in your laptop or computer. So this is one of the things which you can do, but there's more because I'm going to show you more. Okay, one, there are sounds that you don't need. Remove them. Remove them. Regret nothing. Two. Always, uh, always follow the steps that I'm going to show you. I like. I really recommend you should follow them. But you can also do other things. I'm not forcing you to. But remember that they are really important in order to save space. So let's now just f uh, open FL Studio. FL Studio. Okay. Uh. Uh. Let's just open a project. It's young inner so this is a project this is a, a, a project so what is important is this uh, this project I'm still working on it I'm not done with it so what is important is is knowing FL studio like a uh, custom how to customize it in interface and all of that sound and stuff so he, he, okay first when you record, uh, or when you're recording an artist and artists make mistakes and stuff, so the recordings that you usually delete and stuff, you delete those recordings and stuff. So some of the recordings, uh, they are really good, so you leave them, like you choose the best, then the worst, you delete the worst. So this is what happened. Every time when you, you when you delete some of the recordings, they are still stored there. Like each and every recording that you have done is still there. At first you will save them as like sort of a database and stuff. So what is really important it is that you have to delete them afterwards so what i did is that i created a sort of a pattern for me which saves space for me so i want to, to teach you guys the very same pattern but remember you, you 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 can find other ways but this is the one which works for me and i recommend that you learn it too so these are the sound and everything recorded, uh, hugu, or which is a chorus, then it's verse 1, verse 2 and stuff, and all the added sound and stuff. So, the sound which you you record, you record recorded them, or the artist recorded them, which are worse, you just um, select them, hold shift, then select them, then move them down. And make sure you switch off, so that they don't play, switch off from uh, the left side, from the tracks and stuff, switch them off, you know, playlist. So, when you done you done mixing and stuff those sound are still down there as many as they are then you just option them and rename them all of them remember you don't need them you are done mixing your good so all those sounds rename them delete 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 so then after you can <coughs> uh uh after renaming them delete 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 then delete them by right clicking on your mouse or just uh use this uh button of delete uh, like from the tools use the delete one select your, that one then delete them so when you turn deleting them then you might wanna go to your sounds and stuff where your pegs and all of that like um your, your browser or plugin picker if i'm missing then you go to your slides uh beats and stuff so you'll find so many uh sounds and stuff the old ones the new ones they are all there 
so it's same as the, like, the database so what you're going to do is just gonna press option and say um what is that open or uh, windows shell menu it's a bit slow so you uh, you have to find that location you can say properties this is one of the way but I uh, usually don't use this one I don't like use the but I wanted to show you the easiest way so in properties what it was supposed to be showing location stuff but forget about that so what you're gonna do is go to computer and then um, local program 86 just go to your image file your image line for the stuff where your image line is installed and stuff which is FL studio FL studio 12 and then you go to uh, date data <laughs> sorry then you go to patches you got it image line data patches then you go down down you look for sound uh, sounds place and stuff remember sliced beats uh, so besides just being slides bees beats and stuff it could be like recordings and stuff in some of the the files so because I've opened uh, the, that project some of the things won't show this side but if you look at all of those most of them they are written untitled untitled reason why is because when you were recording you never titled them so I've titled mine like I use my own titles like vocals stuff uh, like uh, chorus and verse like it was that guy was doing chorus and then he just jumped into the verse so it was chorus and verse then uh, when I, I was mixing uh, I separated them but it consisted of the same way so many of them are written as like um, untitled and I just clicked one look at the space 21.9 megabyte it's too much but I know the reason why is because it is wave so I'm not sure those which I have written them delayed they are going to show but they were supposed to show right here so that you delay them or you can just name each and every wave you create then the the one user are not create uh, are, are not are not titled you delay them all sorry you just delay them all you don't need them just make sure you really rename each and every clip you need then you can delay the rest come on that's supposed just to be here and stuff what is the reason that I have opened the project okay let me try something it is really a bad idea but I'm thinking of trying it what I'm going to do I'm going to go there and look for that delayed one where is it yeah here is it one just I'm going uh, to want to work but anyway let's just uh, uh, rename then I'm gonna copy that and then I'm gonna go there and say back once then I'm gonna just paste this there and search let's see if I could find that chorus and verse in what is important is to record and make sure you take it each and every uh, hook of verse and intro outro uh, every added vocals and stuff like any what is this uh sorry uh chants like chants who you you pond something like that make sure you really edit uh like you really rename them so that when you delete that side only delete the ones you don't need and the one which you need you keep them some of the computers have uh, something like which cleans and stuff but sometimes the very same thing can really remove the really important things and stuff so I really prefer you just stick with the plan that I just gave you or oh, another thing which is it's not a good idea is zipping the project then deleting all the data files make sure all your projects are zipped that is one of the strategies after doing a project or if you're, you're not done with the project you just zip zip then you will have maybe an external uh, hard drive or a space where you store all your old projects your new projects and everything which will really work for you but really you have to find a way to always limit your space how you use your space is really important because if you, you are not careful you, you might be running low of space anytime or soon and stuff so it's really important 
really ready for me you really have to pay attention to it uh, I, I think it is for me I think it is uh, most important to do that especially when you are not under or you are running your own company and all of that or you're under a company and it will take some time to give you another PC or an external drive but in most companies they wouldn't just uh, be in place with that because they really need projects up and running each and every time so these are one of my projects and stuff all of them so I've managed to pack them as well as they should be packed and stuff uh, recordings this one are recordings of one of my songs uh, beat making stuff one of the project so I've, I've tried my best hell no and all of that I've tried to arrange them the way they should be arranged the one which I need I store them in the file where I will get them whenever I need them all those written untitled are the one which was supposed to be deleted but I te I've tested them so I have to save them because I really need them all yep I'm looking for those with written delete but now I can't find them but you will find them just follow the steps that I just gave you it will work for you trust me it will and yeah uh, just a bit uh, not even there so yeah guys I'll see you in another tutorial please stay tuned uh, consider subscribing if you're not yet subscribed and come back for more because there's still more I'm, I'm still going to share even more tricks if you have any problem with installing a plugin or anything with FL studio and stuff I could help you if you need uh, personal assistant try leaving a comment and stuff then whenever I get more comment on one thing or I just uh, got uh, a serious comment or something which I think I really have to put it out there because it's a, a big thing I'll just do it like this one how to save space most people are struggling with this one and remember do not if you're using correct version of FL Studio consider buying the full bundle of it because installing that FL Studio on top of another FL Studio mm -mm. so yeah that's one of the tip that I will give you so if I install another FL Studio install it aside then take those from that and put them in the new one and stuff because I'm using correct but if you are using a fully purchased one you can just install it and then uh, uh, your email and all of that then voila everything will be smooth trust me so I prefer you get that lifetime stuff uh, updates and stuff it really works so good guys please uh, keep on the good work and thank you for your support consider subscribing uh, leave a comment leave a like and if possible share with your friends yeah share and i'll see you guys in another tutorial it's been an amazing time with you guys voila